Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of OneNote Worthy Life and in this video I'm going to show you how to install OneNote on your iPad. This process isn't much different from installing other apps, so if you've done that, this will have at least some similar steps. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the App Store. Once you're in the App Store, you're going to click this button down here in the middle that says Apps. From this screen, we're going to use this search button in the lower right. Once you're on the search page, you're going to type OneNote in the search bar. And then click the search button. So this one here in the upper right is what we're looking for. It says Microsoft OneNote. So I'm going to click the Get button. and then I'm going to click install and I have already logged in on this iPad using the same email that I use for my OneNote account. You might be prompted to put in either your email address or your password at this point. But I'm going to go ahead and click install and it's done and that was actually real time so that was super fast. I'm going to swipe up to go back to the home screen And we can see it's installing here. And just like that, it's installed. And again, that was in real time. Uh, so it installed just that fast. So I'm going to click on OneNote. And it's asking me to sign in. Um, if you have a OneNote or Microsoft or OneDrive account, this is where you would enter your password. If you don't, you would need to set one up. So I'm going to click Sign In. And I'm going to go ahead and fetch my password and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have now entered my password and I'm just clicking through some of these screens that have some data for you to read. And I'm going to accept the terms of service. And I'm just going to click OK here. And now it's going through a sync process. And I'm, go I'm not going to enable the notifications right now because I don't need them. And just like that, um, my whole account's already in and all synced up. I was planning on editing out uh, a few minutes of this if it took time, but it literally synced that quickly. So that is really cool. Now, if you didn't have an account before you installed OneNote, you what you'll likely see is a single notebook in, account, in your account. And that notebook is probably called by your first name and the word notebook. So in my case, it's called uh, Michelle's Notebook. It's this one on top here. Um, you can work within this notebook to get started and then move things out of this notebook and into another notebook if it gets too big or your needs change. You can have many, many notebooks in OneNote, so don't feel the need to keep all of your data in this notebook. So OneNote is kind of like a blank three-ring binder. Uh, so you can start writing, typing, drawing, pasting, etc. right on any blank page. You don't need a PDF or any other document to get started, and you don't need to create a planner to get started. So that's it for installing OneNote on your iPad. This is the very first video in a playlist I'm working on um, that's going to be about using OneNote on your iPad. So if you have any questions or comments or things you're trying to do on your iPad with OneNote, please comment below and let me know so that I can try and find an answer and maybe make a video about it. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, such as OneNote tutorials on a variety of platforms and other content like goal setting and personal productivity, then please do hit the subscribe button. And then finally, if you want to have more conversations with fellow OneNote iPad users, come join us in the OneNote for iPad group on Facebook. There's a link in the description. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.